Hey everybody, I'm Amy from Body Fit by Amy and this is your mini band bar and stretch workout. First things first, if you don't have a mini band, that is okay. You can still do this workout. You will still get strength and toning and a nice good stretch. But if you have a mini band and you wanna add a little extra resistance, a little extra burn, then we're gonna be adding it in. This is both a strengthening and an active recovery workout. If you need less or more of each, add more resistance with the band, take it out if you want more of just the active recovery. Are you ready? Let's do it. Go ahead and just start moving your body. Set your bands to the side. Let's just start with just a gentle march and roll of the shoulders. So again, I want you to have the option here. I always try to give you options in all of my workouts to be where you are today. That's what I always say. So maybe you need this to be more active recovery. If so, don't worry about the bands, even if you've got them and just get the movement. It will be gentle movement, strengthening, stretching, and then we'll get a nice good stretch with the bands at the end. Let's go one at a time with our arms. If you're looking for a little more toning, a little more of that burn, add the bands in, or you could even add in a light dumbbell. If you don't have a band, it is totally up to you. So this workout is whatever you need it to be today. As you know, I always say it's your workout, you do you. I want you to be challenged, but in a way that's good for you. Right through here, so just stretch side to side. The first half of the workout, we are going to get that toning and that gentle cardio, no high impact, all low impact today, no jumping. Second half, we'll get that stretch. So using, reach it up, sit low, reach up, Using some of our bar and Pilates inspired moves, we'll add a band to that for, again, for a little extra burn. <sighs> keeping it grounded, keeping it low impact, but getting your muscles working, getting everything moving. Let's roll through that hip and step it out. Side lunge, roll through that hip and stretch it out right here. Here and out. And we'll start up top, then we'll work our way down to the mat. Right through here. One more. Let's get that hinge right here. Reach down. And then reach it up, just like this. So still just getting a quick little warm up. Reach down. Reach up. Then if you want, if you're feeling it, I want you to inch worm out. Great little way to warm up through the spine. Also get that nice good stretch. Also get that core working and ready to move. I'm gonna take it here. Yes. Right through here. And walk it back. You can also walk out to here and drop to those knees if that's a better option for you. Right here. And walk it back. One more. And walk it back right through here. Let's tap those feet back. So just open it up here, reach. You can just make it a little step back, or if you want, we're gonna take it to a little more of that deep lunge. We're gonna hold it in just a second. So hold it here. If this is right where you need to be, you can do a little stretch over or grab onto the wall. If you wanna drop that knee down, we'll go a little forward or back to open up the hips, right through there. And then we'll take that arm up. If you want big stretch, world's greatest stretch to open up through the spine, you can reach through. You can come up out of that leg if you want. You do what's best for you. What do you need today? Right here. And then sit back onto that hip. Again, you can take this standing if that is a better option for you too. Step up out of it. Let's get the same thing other side. So step back. If this is where you need to be, you can have a little balance. You can stretch over. Or if you can, take it down. Lean into it right through here. Opening up the hips. You can even have your hand down here. Reach up either with or without that knee. You can keep that knee down. Or you can bring it up to here right here yes and sit back right through here Woo. 
go ahead and walk it up and slowly round it out. All right, so let's just do little taps side to side, reaching it over. So again, we're gonna start with the band. Sometimes we'll have it working through our lower body, some through our upper, and we are going to start with some strengthening, bar inspired moves. Again, if you want that burn, you can add the band or a light dumbbell. If you wanna just keep it active recovery, let's reach across here. Then you just keep it body weight. You do you, be where you are today. Let's bring those knees up. Bring it down and down right through here. So just a little gentle cardio to get our muscles warm and ready. I'm feeling it, I don't know about you. And then some kicks right through here. Little stretch, take those arms up. Bring it up, bring it up, bring it up. Three, two, and one. All right, so water if you need it, go ahead and grab a band. We're gonna start with that band. If you have something a little thicker, we're gonna start with it mid calf. So we're gonna step in through it here. And we're gonna start with that little close plie. So we're here, you just wanna step out just enough. So if you don't step out enough, you'll get that. So keep that tension. If you need to bring it a little higher, you can. But we're just stepping out here to here, here to here. So toes out in that plie if you can and then we'll add a little upper body to it. So zip up that core, wrap everything in, chest open and proud, nice good posture all the way up and through, step out, step in. So here to here. So we're keeping that tension through the inner thighs while we push through the outer. Yes, there we go. Good. How about we take our arms out right here? Out and out. So squeezing through. Feels like too much, just do one or the other. Little different when we have our toes slightly turned out, right? Do you feel a difference in the hips? Nice, good posture. You don't have to look like a ballerina, doesn't matter. There we go. And we get four, three, two. So not super low in this plie. Keep it here. We're gonna go out with the upper. So down and up with the step. So this time we're opening up, soft bend in the elbows. Really think about pulling in those shoulder blades right through here, right? So you're getting those good posture muscles in and in. There we go, keeping that core tight, keeping those legs working. I know, good burn for the legs. Getting four. In three, two, and one. Let's go one and the other. So it's gonna look like this. Out and up. Out, join me when you're ready, and up. Out to the front, down from the top. I know I feel it too. We got four. Feel how those arms are really feeling it, even without the weight. Two. One more, yes, and breathe, excellent. So take that band off. Now we're gonna do a similar movement. Let's just do little heel taps right here to kind of stretch it out. Woo, arms, right? Now we're gonna do a similar movement, but instead of having the band at our feet, feel that heart rate, feel it get up a little. If you want more, take it here, a little less, take it here. Similar movement, but we're gonna have the band up above. So if you wanna go a little bit lighter or medium, Here's what it's gonna look like. We're gonna start with our legs again. Then instead of going all the way out or all the way down, we're just gonna have a little squeeze and squeeze. So you may want your lighter band if you've got it, but even if you just get an inch or two out, you're gonna feel those shoulders. You're gonna feel the difference. Again, if you wanna keep the mobility, you just use no band. So band right here, let's step it out. So step it out. And what I want you to do with the legs this time just like we had small range of motion with the band with the legs, is I want you to try to get a little lower and a little wider. And we'll do exactly the opposite with the arms. We're going to make it smaller. Here we go. So out and in. 
So again, if you have a thinner band, and you can get, again, don't try to get all the way out, just a little squeeze, or if you want something a little in the middle, where you can just pull out, whoo, and burn. I don't know if that's really the middle. Out, and out, squeeze. We got four, three, two, relax them down right here. Now you know what's coming. Maybe I'll go back to this one. We're gonna go from the top. So the top is gonna look like this, right? Step out and in, and then we'll go one and then the other, and we'll finish this out. All right, so we're getting that tightness in those arms. Let's take it right here, and then we got a good stretch coming. Start with your legs, out and in, core zipped. Bring them up, bring them over, here we go. So if you have a thinner band, if you wanna pull those elbows down a bit, if you have a thicker band, just pull out at the top. What I love about this is we're still working those big muscles along our spine and our shoulders, but we really feel it right in the shoulder blades, right? Right where we get that little bra bulge, right where we feel that posture. Four, three, two, one, and then the other. Take it down right here, take it out, up, and down. So again, if you have a tighter band, just small movement, you're able to get more range of motion, go for it, you do you. Whoo, bird, arms and legs, we got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Yes, team, check it out, Woo! Again, little taps right here, drop that band. Maybe you're feeling your arms. I felt my arms more than anything on that. Not sure if that's the same with you, but if so, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out, take those arms forward, Woo! and bring them up. Quick sip of water if you want it. We're gonna stay up top of the band for another minute or two. I'm gonna take it right here. So, let's take that thicker band above your knees. And this time, we're gonna do a little curtsy lunge, little lift. So it looks like this, you're crossed behind in a curtsy, dropping the knee and little lift. So even if you're not using the band, I want you to keep them pretty close together. Outer thighs, push out. Inner thighs, squeeze in. Lift, get the glutes. Outer, inner, glutes. Core is engaged the entire time. We'll add some upper as we go. So take it down and out, up and in, squeeze, nice and slow. Out, in, and really think. Outer thighs, inner thighs, lift. Core connected the entire time, especially on the inners. Just like this. Press out, squeeze in, lift. Can you feel all those different parts? Outer, inner, lift, outer, Inner, glutes I should say. Yes, right here. Out and push. So going out. If you've got dumbbells, little triceps, don't worry, we're gonna add the band in a minute. Take it out. Both hands if you can. We've got out and lift. Out, take it up. Up. Four more. Four. Lift up. Three. Don't think about all the different parts. If it feels like too much, just pick what's comfortable for you. Your workout. What do you need in this moment? Here we go. Lift. Lift. If you want to just keep it just the legs, if you need a little balance, take it here. If you want to squeeze the arms in the back, triceps, triceps, down and up. Out, in, small. Yes, you can. I know, I feel it too. Four, three, two, one. Shake it out. Ooh, yeah. Ha. All right, team, take that off your legs. Hamstring curls to the back. Bring it right here. Ooh, little quads. Did you feel those outers and inners? I know I did. All right, so we're going to stay on that same side, but we're adding some upper. You keep those hamstring curls and watch me here. 
So going a little lighter. I really need something in between these two. All right, so down and up, push with or without the legs. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that little glute squeeze out and just go down and up. So biceps here, triceps here. Then when we pulse at the end, we'll pulse biceps, we'll pulse triceps. If you are doing no weights, then I just want you to do, take those big arm movements and really get no band or no weights, really get that good resistance. All right, same side, whatever foot's forward, Biceps, hold it tight. If you need it tighter here, here, or here, biceps are working, triceps are pushing down. So opposing resistance, movement through the tries. In three, two, start with the upper. Here we go. Down and up, down and up. Right? So isometric with your biceps, movement through the tries. Let's add the legs right here. Take it down and up. Keep the biceps working. Squeeze. Down and up. It's close, even without the band. If you want to take it a little wider, you can. Yes. Breathe. We've got eight. Woo. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Hold it here, pulse your biceps, pulse. You can stay in the low, low in the legs if you want or bring it up, four, three, hold it at the top, pulse down. Breathe, four, three, two, relax. All right team, set that down. While we shake it out before we get to that other side, let's just do a big arms circle. Side knee, so we shake out the arms and the legs and we also get those obliques. Join me if you haven't already. Side, side, right here. Woo. And up, yes. You decide if you want bigger, if you wanna get a little lower, if you wanna go a little quicker, make it feel more cardiovascular, but stretching it out, we got four, three, two, one. All right, team, band back up above the knees. We're gonna to turn to that other side. So we're tight again, pressing out, inner outer thighs, up inner thighs, little glute lift. Go a little quicker, we'll add the upper as we go. So above the knees with the band, if you got it. Let's take it here. Here we go. So take it down, press out, ooh, little tougher, right? Press out, squeeze up, little lift. I gotta turn, right? Out. And if you're like me and you just found that whatever position you're in, you felt too off balance, take it a little wider. Out, squeeze. You can still get the work outer thighs, inner thighs, glutes. Outer th I don't know why this one's so hard for me. Outer thighs, inner thighs, glutes, probably because it's my left side. Let's add those arms right here. So push, bring them in, push, sorry. Push and lift right here. Take it wide, bring them in and tight. Triceps and back and breathe. Triceps and biceps, see here's your biceps. Take it out, breathe. Hands can be flat, hands can be here. Breathe. Four more right here. Four and up, I know. Three, two, one more. Let's do little lifts right here. Little pulses, if you want, right here, squeeze. Both legs are working. Pulse it down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Tiny little movements. Take it to the side. Guess what, guys? Shake them out. Woo. Right here. Little hamstrings. Grab that top one. We got our triceps working. Remember, bicep isometric. Tricep movement. Curtsy lunge. You can add the lift or not add the lift. I'm going to take the lift out, but it is totally up to you. We're going to start with the arms. Bicep iso. Movement. Tricep. Then we add that curtsy lunge. You can make it wider because you don't have the band. 
Then we'll do some pulses at the top. Let's get it done. Right here, core engage. Here we go, push down and up. I know sometimes it depends on your band, right? Maybe it's not tight enough. Bring it up a little higher or up across your body or just push down even more, maybe to the side. Maybe this is it, but I like to have the bias. Here we go, down and up. Squeeze, still push out outers, inners. So we're gonna take the glutes out, we got it. Squeeze, yes, team. Four more, four, three, two, Hold it up, pulse the biceps, hold it low, pulse, pulse. Yes, you can. Four, three, two, pulse the tries, pulse. Down to the side or to the back, whatever feels better. Four, three, two, boom, shake it out. All right, team, last one. Right through here, all right? So I want you to really pull down so we keep the shoulders and back working. Everything else after this is down on the mat. We're getting close to that stretching time. So if you can, you can do what we just did, body weight, or you can add a little pull with the band for that last push for your back. In three, two, one, grab it on both. Pull right here, pull. Again, if your arms are spent and you just wanna keep the movement, just take it here or two hands here or here. Your workout. Go into the mat for good after this. So last little push for heart rate. Four, three, two, one. Grab some water, team. Woo! All right, first thing we're gonna do from a seated position. So if you need to sit on the edge of a chair or a bench, we're gonna get a little stretch through here. So first thing, cross it over here. And if you can, bring it up to here. Let's get that seated glute piriformis outer thigh stretch. If you wanna bring your feet in even more, take it right there. So a little deep stretch before you even start. We're gonna do a couple little core things, but then that is it, team. Then we're all stretching. So press the knee down, just cause those glutes are probably burning, right? Ooh. You can probably guess that there's a pigeon in your future. Cross it other side, so start low. If you need to sit on the edge of the chair or bring it up, bring it in. You decide where you want to be to feel that stretch. You can lean into it. You can pull that foot up. Whatever you need for where you are today. There we go. Excellent. And then arms out in the front, chin to the chest bring it up. Let's come down on to your mat, just with one band right through here. So hug those knees in, get a little stretch, pulling the knees, I'm gonna adjust my microphone, pulling the knees in, gentle roll side to side. So if you can, let's put the band at your feet. Again, if you want more of that active recovery, just take it no band. We're gonna bring it up right through here and we're just gonna do a little heel taps, right? So if your band doesn't have enough give to get down there, then I want you to just take it with either a little lower or no weight, but tilt your pelvis, wrap that core. Here we go. Think of it as a little half dead bug. Heel tap and arms. If that feels too weird for you, just keep it here. I'm trying to go down with it and work against that core. Breathe. Four. And three, yes. Two. One more. Woo. Yes, hug those knees in. Keep the band at your feet. And if you can, you can keep just that or a little march or take it to a bicycle right here. So tuck the pelvis, wrap the core. And then I want you to really think about push and pull. So push with the extended leg, but also pull in. Feel the difference in your core. If you want, lift the shoulders up Pilates style. Tuck your chin right here. Lots of core. Yes. Team, breathe. Boom. 
Can you add that upper? Let's do it. Breathe. Yes. We got four, three, two, one. Hug the knees in. Whoo, take the band above your knees. We're gonna do, oh, oops. <laughs> We're gonna do a little pullover up and out. So I really want the mobility through your upper and then press out and in, in the bridge. If you wanna keep that just body weight, that works too. Here we go. Press out. So close, team. I promise you we're not gonna overdo it down on the mat. Most of it is stretching. And breathe. Press up and out. Right through here. Yes. Boom. All the way through. Really try to get that pullover. Take those arms over. Work on that mobility of your upper body. We've got four and breathe three two last one roll over into a front plank position last thing before it's all stretching we're here we're gonna lift it up take it here we're gonna walk out those knees drop the hip drop the hip join me take it out and out drop the hip Think about your core doing the work, but also think about that nice, strong upper body, right? And breathe, take it out, out. This is it, team, four. Drop the hip, I'm going off my mat. Three, Woo. hip, two, stay lifted. Last one, out, in, out, in, hip, and hip. Stretch it up into that cobra. It's a little baby cobra here, feel? Modified cobra, or take it to that cobra, or up dog, whatever feels good for you to get that nice, good stretch. Drop the shoulders, look side to side. I know. If that's not right for you, take it down. Well, you feel that, feel that tightness, right? All right, team, so roll to your side. Here's what I want you to do. So I want you to keep that band on your foot. And I want you to lay down on your side. And what I want is for you to grab it and pull in. So if you're someone who can't get that quad stretch, wherever that needs to be for you, if that's here, if that's enough, or if you can get it all the way in, I want you to relax your head down. And while you've got a nice good grip, I want you to push your hip forward, pull up on the band, and also simultaneously open up that shoulder. Sounds like a lot, but you know what I mean, right? Rotate that shoulder out, tilt the hip forward, and press up. Now let's do a little push with our foot into the band. Push, three, two, one, and release. Feel how you feel that around your knee, even if you're down here. That push, three, two, one, and release. Feel how you get a little deeper stretch. Keep that push, three, two, one. Keep your hip tilted forward and keep pulling up on the band. Open up the shoulder, one more. Three, two, one. Let's hold it here for 10. Feel the difference. If you're someone who has maybe patellar tendonitis, pain around the knee or tightness, it's a great stretch and you don't have to have the band, but the band really helps. If you're able to get right through here, that's a great way to do it too. If you can, roll that knee forward and just get a little stretch, open up. Bring that bottom leg down. Can you get into this stretch? So press the knee away, little stretch here. Hands can be wherever you need them to be if you can open up or if you need to assist right through here. So we're gonna get that same stretch on the other side. Before, before we're done here, stack your knees and your hips open up. Just holding that little open book. Feel that release in your back, that low back. If you wanna to try to bring your knees a little closer to your chest, see if that helps, a little more of a release. A few exhales, sinking into the floor. 
And then let's roll to the other side. You can face me if you want, or you can just take that open book all the way over and make sure you got your band. I'm gonna turn to face you because we're gonna put that band on that other foot. So again, same thing. I'm gonna stay up a little bit because of my microphone, but I want you to be all the way down just as you were. So again, pulling it up, even if you're here or if you're a little tighter, whatever it is to get you in that stretch, roll that shoulder out. Woo, it's harder from up top. This is also something you could do from a standing position, supported, maybe hand on the wall, hand on a chair. Roll the shoulder out, tilt the hip forward. Feel that stretch through the quad, but also the hip flexor, and also right around that knee. So let's do that little push and release. Push your foot into the band while you're still pulling band. Three, two, one, release. Right, push three, two, one, release and then pull up a little higher, tilt that hip, open up that shoulder. It's tempting to be here, but really try to open it up. Push three, two, one, release. And one more time, three, two, one, release. Hold it. Three, two, one. So cross that knee over again. You can be laying all the way down, but I'm not gonna be because my microphone Cross it over and then bring it up. Open up the chest if you can. I'm modifying here, but I guess I can probably get to here. Woo! And then if you want, drop your knees, holding here. Bring the knees into the chest a little more if you wanna feel that more of that release in your back. All the way through. Hug your knees in right through here. Just roll side to side. I'm gonna turn to the other side, so, because of my microphone. But hug them in and just pull gentle knee in one at a time to release your back. Pull it in. And let's take that band up on the foot again. And this is our goal. If you can't really get there, I want you to, you can lift your shoulders, whatever works for you, or you can take this standing. But if you can, here or here. And we're gonna do sort of the same idea, but we're gonna push against it. Three, two, one, make sure that foot is up a bit so you're not gonna let go of that band. And then release, pull in, feel the difference. Push away from your body. So you're not pushing up, you're pushing away. Three, two, one, and here. Ooh. And push three, two, one. I don't think we've had a full, I know we've done like a mini band mobility. One more time, push three, two, one, and release. Hold that here. Do you feel the difference? If you need to bend your knee a little bit, that's okay. But if you can really extend it up. Ooh, I don't think we've had a mini band stretch. Maybe we need our own mini band stretch. If this is feeling good for you, let me know in the comments after, because I would love to hear from you. Then pull it in here. You can bring that knee up or you can just pull it in. Just hold this one. Because again, we got pigeon coming. And go ahead, switch that foot. Other one on top. Again, make sure it's mid or towards the bottom where it's not gonna slide off like that, right? The nice thing is these are small, so it's not like your long bands. And here, whatever works for you, if you're down low, if you're out here, just get that stretch, feel the stretch first, and then push away from your body three, while you pull three, two, one, and release. Ooh, three, two, one. So often this is something you can do with a partner, like assisted stretching, have them push against your shoulder or your hand or sometimes we call this PNF stretching. We just talked about this in the Body Fit Athletic Club, different types of stretching. <sighs> Feels good. Also, that remember this hamstring stretch and those hip flexor stretch and hip stretches are also going to release in our back. So even though it feels like we do a lot of hip openers and things like that, it all helps us release in the back. One more time, hold it here. Ooh. Uh. And then if you want, cross it down or if you want to hold it there. I know, team, I feel it too, right? Go ahead and turn over onto all fours. 
Let's just start with a little child's pose. Reach back. Sitting back into your hips. Breathe into that. I really want you to sink deeper. See if, you can, see if your back feels a little lighter, right? A little less tight from those hamstrings and those hip stretches and quad stretches. Do you feel it? Pressing the shoulders down, reaching the fingertips. And then come up and let's roll through cat cow. I know for me, this is a tough one. When I get to cat cow, usually I feel super tight. It's almost like it stops here. So I'm really focusing on that lower lumbar spine, but you know what? I feel like I have a little more movement after that hamstring stretch. Imagine that. So at your own pace, cat cow. Let's take one arm under and just get a little stretch of the shoulders. Almost done here, I promise. And then take it to that other side, reach. and bring it up. So the moment you've been waiting for, we're gonna take it into a pigeon stretch. So if you want, I find it helpful to come into that down dog, but if that's not right for you, you just get into that pigeon stretch however you want. So this is your pigeon. If that doesn't feel good for you, you can just sit in that 90-90 and then we'll switch it. But if you can, turning into your pigeon stretch, down or up, whatever feels good to you, shift your weight side to side again. Almost done. Put up even more. That's where we feel that. Sinking into that on the exhale. And then switch that. So if you want to go into down dog, you can, otherwise just switch right into it, other leg. And again, if you wanna just sit in that 90-90, whatever feels comfortable for you, you just want that stretch. You can also get, just get that leg crossover. Remember with our stretching that it's not just about the stretches we do at the end of the workout. As you know, if you've done my workouts before, we keep them pretty short but it's about your stretching over the course of the week, over the course of the month. We wanna get flexibility and mobility. It is really important. It's less important at the end of a workout. We do wanna get it to cool our bodies down. And just because it feels good, take those feet out and stretch through here. Start with just a flat back, trying to stay upright. Feel that stretch as you come in here. You're gonna feel the release in your back. deeper. Again, trying to keep the head up, straight back. Let's take that arm down, let your head drop. But remembering that we want to get these movements throughout our week. We want to get some flexibility, specific workouts. We want to get some uh, specific mobility workouts, all different types of things. Usually, you know, in my calendar, our day four, other side, is our active recovery. So we put in something like this. Sometimes you get a little good burn before or a little gentle cardio, but always good. Stretch it over. Take it right here. Let's get one big, deep breath in. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Get some more stretching on your own. If it feels good, remember that band could be a great tool for your stretching. And of course, don't forget to check out all the links in the description below. Leave me a comment, like this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, join us in the Body Fit Athletic Club, and follow me at Body Fit by Amy. Let's get one more time. I know we just did it, but let's do it. Ooh. You did it. That was your mini band bar and stretch workouts. Great job, everybody.